Demon Man. Sounds like a reject from a Las Vegas robot fight club, right? Well, in the funny book world, that's kind of where he started. 1963, the year the Beatles invaded and America was tripping balls over the Cold War. Here comes Iron Man, this billionaire playboy with a metal exoskeleton and a penchant for corporate espionage. Not exactly swinging from the rafters with the charm of your friendly neighborhood Spider-Man, was he? Now that was a goddamn phenomenon. 1962, fresh off the press, and this teenage wall crawler was snagging headlines faster than you could say radioactive spider bite. Kids could relate, man. The angst, the money woes, the whole great power, great responsibility shtick. Iron Man, on the other hand, was drowning his existential dread in Dom Perignon while battling commie spies in boardrooms. B-list material for sure. But then, as they say in Vegas, the house always wins. Cut to 2008. Hollywood, that shimmering mirage in the desert, decides to play a long shot. They take this rusty iron relic, dust him off, and shove Robert Downey Jr., a walking paradox himself, into the metal suit. And wouldn't you know it, lightning strikes twice. My turn. The movie explodes, critics rave, audiences go batshit crazy. Iron Man the C-lister becomes a goddamn A-list Avenger overnight. Here's the kicker, though. Was it the character? Nah. Iron Man was still the same brooding billionaire with a penchant for sarcasm. It was the goddamn spectacle, man. The CGI fireworks, the witty one-liners delivered at mock speed, the whole team-up superhero extravaganza. Hollywood took this niche comic book character and bathed him in a million-dollar light show. So, Iron Man's rise to fame? A perfect storm of a charismatic actor, a blockbuster film, and the insatiable public appetite for shiny things that go boom. But hey, that's the American dream, baby. Just remember, amidst all the explosions and witty banter, there's still a B-list character struggling to find his place in a world obsessed with superheroes.